Hello, baseball fans. Hope everybody's staying safe. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do so. Brand new YouTubers, so really appreciate everybody who supports me early on. So today I thought we could talk about an interesting trade rumor, one that's bubbled up now, a bit of a fallout from the Nolan Arenado trade. And I'm talking about nobody else than Herman Marquez, starting pitcher of the Colorado Rockies. Now, a little bit about Marquez, if you don't know. He's actually young. He's only going to be 26 years old going into next season. And his numbers are a little bit skewed, probably from playing up in Colorado. When he is at home in Colorado, his ERA is over 5. However, when he's away, it's a nice 3.51. And I know a lot of pitchers do struggle up in Colorado. So that's why his numbers, as I said, might be a little skewed. But let's look at him here. In 2020, he went 4-6. With a respectable 3.75 ERA, 81.2 innings pitched, and a 1.7 war. 2019, he went 12 and 5, 4.76 ERA, 174 innings pitched, and a nice 3.3 war. 2018, very much the same story. That's where he went 14 and 11, 3.77 ERA, 196 innings pitched, and a 4.4 war. So he could easily adjust to the American League and should be a pitcher that a lot of teams will be interested in, especially with the price tag. He's a bit of a steal. Over the next three years, he's only committed to $34 million bucks. Plus, you could pick up that additional year option at $16 million bucks. So you could actually have him as a starter in your rotation for four years for only $50 million. A small commitment for somebody who's pitching at this type of level. And who are the teams that are going to be interested in him? Well, let's talk about the top three that are now popping up in rumors. You have my Blue Jays, and that's very interesting because the Blue Jays definitely need starting pitching. He could be a severe asset or a definite asset to the Jays' rotation and really help him be the team that could take over the Yankees. I'm not sure if he's high caliber enough, maybe more of a number three, but definitely a starter that the Jays need and could use. You also have the Angels. And why? Well, they've pivoted away from Trevor Bauer recently. They are very connected to Sonny Gray, so they may go down that route. But if they don't land Sonny Gray, Marquez is a definite uh, decent follow-up if they don't get the Sonny Gray deal done. And I could see Marquez in an Angels uniform next year. The Angels are adamant about adding a rotation arm. So that would check off that list for them. And then finally, the team that's connected the most, the New York Yankees. And boy, oh boy, would that make Blue Jays fans shiver a bit if they were able to get this trade done. Now, he is owed a little bit more money, so it might put him over the luxury tax limit. So it'd be interesting to see what pieces uh, the Yankees send over. But don't discount the Yankees in this conversation. And in closing up, because I know people will ask, what would it take for Toronto to make this trade with Colorado? Well, I think the conversation probably starts with Tellez, Alejandro Kirk, Hatch, and Anthony Kay. And that might actually be low-balling Colorado and might not get the deal done. But that's the type of package that you're looking at. They're going to want somebody who can be a bat that can step in right away, just like Telez. They definitely want catching prospects. That's something that Colorado has said. And they'll want an arm or two pitching to offset the arms that they're sending out. So it would be something like Kirk, Telez, Hatch, and Kay. Let me know what you think, though. Do you think that Marquez is going to get traded? Do you think Colorado is actually going to start making moves and do the rebuild that they should? They certainly should move Trevor Story. That's a vlog for another day, I'm sure. Let me know what you think. More importantly, I hope everybody stays safe out there. Hit subscribe if you haven't, and we'll talk soon. Take care.